What's up everyone? Back here with a real quick video. And this video it pertains to the 3D touch and or haptic touch capabilities. So some people have actually asked me if 3D touch capability is still present. And I am pleased to say that yes it is. Uh, it just works slightly different than what you might be used to currently if you're still running iOS 12 or below. So one thing you'd lose is peak and pop. So peak and pop is no longer available. So if you have a 3D touch capable device, you can basically use both haptic touch or 3D touch simultaneously, whichever I guess you would prefer. But just real quick to show you guys how it works and that 3D touch is actually still faster to activate rather than haptic touch. So if we go over here into the files app, for example, and one of these folders, say you want to get quick action to it. So you can either haptic touch, which is holding a finger on it. And you can see it'll initiate that 3D touch like menu, but you notice that it was actually significantly slower. So I'll do that again hold on it and it opens it but it's significantly slower than 3d touch now if I do an actual force press on there you see it opens instantaneously so there's literally no wait period if you have a 3d touch capable device so I'll do it again 3d touch you see instantaneous haptic touch there's a little bit of a delay. To answer the question, yes, 3D Touch is still available. Anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope that kind of cleared things up uh, and answered your guys' question on that particular topic. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It helps out a lot. Hit the like button as well. And if you guys have any questions or comments, drop those below, and I'll make sure to help you guys out the best as I can. And yes, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.